Kia ora koutou and welcome to Fire It Up in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has no solo mode. It's a game for 2-5 to five players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. Ladies and gentlemen, and sentient beings of all gender, welcome to the arena for tonight's main event. A five-sided, last one standing free-for-all to determine this year's champion. So place your bets on your personal devices while you still can, because it's time for our fighters to get fired up! The game ends after four full rounds of play, and the winner is the player with the most points at that time. You gain points by successfully bidding on fighters to complete different goals and by achieving highlights. Dice. You will roll a bucket of dice. Card management. Choosing the right cards to play is the key to victory. Player turn. Each turn you will have four highlight cards in hand. Choose two you will try to score this round. You do not control any of the fighters directly. You are betting and influencing on them. To do this, you roll your six action dice. Reroll them once if you want to. Each of the six results does something different, and each action you take uses at least one die. The attack defense die increases a fighter's combat scores. The thumb changes a fighter's morale in the morale phase and can be placed up or down. The speed die lets you make one fighter act earlier in the round, and the target die changes which enemy this fighter is targeting. If a fighter has a speed or targeting die on them, you can still take that action, but use two dice. The 2x die can only be used with another die. You can spend two social dice to create any other die, and you can back up to two social dice for later use. Social dice are also used to place bets. You can only have one card for each fighter, but you can bet on each category more than once. Each time a die is used to influence a fighter, move this track down by one. Once it reaches zero, the fighter can no longer be manipulated. In the morale phase, move the morale disc up or down based on the number of thumbs. The morale position shows the maximum level a fighter's attack and defense can be. Adjust accordingly. Combat takes place in speed order. Rexus will attack the bull. Start of combat cards can now be played. For example, the bull has max armor, so you could score this one for three points, but not five, as they are only second fastest. The attacker rolls their attack score in red dice, and the defender their armor in blue dice. Each die is matched up and resolved with rules for damage, wounds, counterattack, and unblockable attacks. Damage the fighters accordingly, and play any relevant fight cards for their victory points. Keep battling until all fighters are done, but if a fighter takes too much damage or wounds, they are removed from the game. Why would you like this game? Fired Up is something a little bit different, a game that replicates a group of jeering manipulative fans at a combat sport event, egging the fighters on to bigger and bolder exploits. And it actually delivers on this unusual premise, creating a game that is both unique and engaging. The highlight system means you always have goals, and the harder they are to achieve, the more points you will get. So Fired Up would be a good fit for a group that likes screwing with each other's secret plans and then rolling a bunch of dice to see how the chaos unfolds. The best thing about this game game is it's something very different. From how it plays to how it looks, it's unique. However, I think the action dice system needs to go in the bin. There are enough variables in this game already that will screw with your plans. And the combat system is very dice heavy and very random as well. Not a game for people who are uncomfortable with dice determining outcomes. For a more directly confrontational sports game, try Blood Bowl. And for a different take on future combat sports, try GKR Heavy Hitters. Fired up. It's no Buster Rhymes, but what is? Say fire! Three Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.